big fan of Android customization and I love using third party Android launchers. But you might have recently noticed that after Branch Analytics took over Nova Launcher, many users have stopped using it. And there are so many discussions going on everywhere. I guess that's the main reason why the latest updates are not being published on Google Play Store. But to be frank, Nova Launcher is still one of the best customizable Android launchers available out there and I myself use it from time to time. When it comes to updates, the latest version of Nova Launcher is available on the official website only, so you have to download the APK file on your phone. And as a matter of fact, there were two back-to-back -back updates in the month of October and we'll talk about them in this video so that you get an idea where this launcher is heading. I will also share some of the alternatives you can try if you are planning to move away from Nova Launcher. Now, the first important update that came with the latest version of Nova Launcher is the new API integration. And you can access this by going to Nova Settings, then Integrations. This update has been added by Branch to make Nova Search better. And there have been quite a few important additions like Spotify, Slack, Discord, GitHub, and Microsoft OneDrive. To take full control of these integrations, you might need to sign into your accounts. Now, the second important update is the addition of new cards in the application drawer for media controls, map locations, and weather information. You can enable or disable these cards under Nova Settings. The weather card is going to pull your approximate location using GPS and alert you about changing weather. The Maps card will show you a predefined location which you set up in Nova settings and it is going to give you different options to navigate using various modes of transport. The Music card is going to show you the player controls similar to what you see in the notification shade. I tried it with Spotify and it's working fine but it needs notification permissions to work. Besides these major improvements, there were a few bug fixes to make Nova Launcher more refined. And the biggest one would be related to Nova UI elements, where Nova theme did not match the system theme. And this seems to be working fine so far, but I would still argue about the material U implementation here, which works like 7 out of 10 times and needs more work. Now, if you are worried about your privacy or you simply want to switch from Nova Launcher, I'll show you some alternatives here that you can try. The first one would be Launcher 2. Yes, the older version of Launcher if you prefer more customization. It should work fine on most devices running on Android 12 or 13. There's no material you theming, but the overall customization is almost equal to Nova Launcher, but it is not going to receive any further updates. The second one would be Launcher 12, which is the latest version of Launcher and supports material you theming. You can also pair this launcher with lawn icons to make themed icons work on home screen as well as application drawer. But it does fall behind in terms of customization if you compare it with Nova Launcher or Launcher 2. And one important thing to note here is that both Launcher 2 and Launcher 12 are free and open source. The third alternative I would recommend is Kavisitsu, an excellent open source launcher that is unique and offers a lot of customization. It's completely free but you will not find it on Google Play Store. It's available on GitHub and Android. So you have to download the APK file and then install it. Another alternative I would recommend is Hyperion Launcher, excellent customization with tons of features. But it might behave weird sometimes, like the icon packs will automatically change to default in the beta version. And you would also require a premium version to enjoy every feature. The last alternative I would recommend is Monoculus Launcher, another open source and minimal Android launcher that is based on Kiss Launcher. It is super fast and offers a decent amount of customization. It is completely free and gives a unique look to your device. There are other alternatives like Smart Launcher or Niagara Launcher that offer great customization, but you have to pay a decent amount of money to enjoy the premium features. And that was the video guys. Please let me know if you are going to use any of these launchers or you are going to stay with Nova Launcher. And if you have any better suggestions, please let me know in the comment section below. And if this is your first time on this channel, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.